After releasing the E20 single beam echo sounder, we have continued to develop new features and options based on feedback from our users. With the fifth update, the Teledyne Odom E20 now offers some exciting new features. The supported transducer models list has been extended with new transducer models, both for the high frequency and the low frequency. In addition, in this new release, we can now easily add a transducer model without the need of installing a new software version. Click on the Choose File button and browse to the transducer model XML file received from Teledyne Rezone. Click on Continue. The new transducer model has been added to the transducer list after a power cycle. With this new release, it's possible to save and load custom settings to or from a configuration file. The E20 settings include, for example, the selected transducer model, input-output settings, draft and index, units, and more. This new functionality allows users to clone the E20 settings on another unit or ensure that the same settings are used in between vessel mobilizations. Instead of only NMEA GGA as navigation data, the user can in this new release add a NMEA HDT string to COM1 as well. The real-time data, position, heading, or both are displayed in the sensor data box. The data are parsed to record 1013 for S7K file recording. In addition, users can now use the E20 as a pass-through to receive all survey data in their acquisition software as 7K records. The list of output formats has been extended with NMEA DBT support and the DSO25 support to allow for dual channel use. Also, the ESBs will now always output the second channel if in use. Tracking sub-bottom layers can be challenging using the low-frequency channel. However, with the new release, we introduce the high-frequency gating feature. This feature enables the high-frequency channel to function as a gate for the low-frequency channel. In practice, this means that the low-frequency channel will detect the next strongest return. When the high-frequency gating is activated, the low-frequency channel will smoothly track the sub-bottom. An info box has been added to show the current ESB settings both in real-time and replay mode. The box is in floating mode and can be dragged to any position in the view. Version control has been implemented. For optimal performance, the ESB's UI version should match with the proper E20 firmware version. Running a new ESB's UI version with older E20 firmware will result in unstable behavior or none functioning. It is therefore when the ESB's UI is started, it will check the version of the E20 firmware and close if it doesn't match. A warning dialog opens to inform the user with the actions to take. The software update procedure is described in the E20 operator's manual. Any updates can be downloaded from the Teledyne Marine download portal. Open the Teledyne Marine web page. Click on the Service and Support button. Click on the Teledyne Odom support page. On this page, you will find a link to the Teledyne Marine download portal. Once you have logged into the portal, you will be able to download the latest version of the E20 software from the Teledyne Odom folder. Teledyne Marine. Everywhere you look.